Well, hello guys. Welcome back to another Fishing for Memories video. If you do enjoy the videos, do take time to share them. Perhaps give them a thumbs up as well. And if you're not subscribed, smash the bell icon and the subscribe button and you'll be notified of all my new uploads. I'll tell you what though. <laughs> First tent trip of the year. Single rod business. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to be out. Nice to be out, guys. Um, today, I'm using a lovely... Shimano travel concept 2.7 meter telescopic and that's paired with this these are these are really nice little reels It's an Akuma. I think it's an Akuma interceptor if I remember correctly and that's loaded with That's about a 500 size reel guys. That's 500 to an 800 is small believe me And that's loaded with matrix X sinking line horizon X sinking line in 10 pound braking strain Simple setup low resistance running rig little large bore quick change clip little one ounce uh, this is a matrix one one ounce flat pair very nice light touch down to it when it hits the water down from there the usual anti-tangle tubing and this is seven pound I believe it's seven pound ten um, Preston Innovations Reflo line little kicker and I'm going to be putting a mag clip on here and using dendrobenus to begin with. Even though I'm going to be using dendros, I have got the following with me. This is the mainline match wafters and that eight millimeter and that pineapple flavor. Ground bait wise, I've got some mainline sweet marine with a little bit of mainline match syrup, which is tutti, tutti flavor mixed in with hemp and sweet corn. I'm going to ball that in, in at intervals and Use a few PVA mesh bags just because the weed, to be fair, the weed, even though we've had cold weather or cool, a cool spring, the weed's not that good. I mean, it's a fair bit of weed. So hopefully the PVA will give me, allow me a bit of a nice presentation, a soft lead as well, so it won't bury into silt. And that's the sum of it, really. I've got some boilies. I've got mainline tutti boilies. I've got the pineapple wafters. And I'm going to start on dendrobenas, good old red worms, and using that with a little bit of corn sprayed round as well. Simple tactics, simple wholesome fishing. Wow, in true a lack of smell of vision form, I can assure you that is lovely. Very sweet smelling, almost like a fruity, creamy smell. Very simple mixture that is. That is the mainline sweet marine, a little bit of the mainline match tooty fruity syrup and a mixture of corn and hemp. Nice and simple. Just going to put a couple of balls in. I don't want to overfeed. And then top up the area with a little bit of corn. Well, all set up, been cast in around about 20 minutes. So not fishing long, had a few little knocks and liners. I suspect there's a few rud about, might be a few eels about, so I might have to change over to a pineapple wafter or a tutti boily. But we'll just wait and see. There has been the odd, very subtle roll. So the tench are about. Yeah, it's a nice evening at the moment, but it is forecast to be wet. I've only got my waterproof coat with me, so I should have really brought a tarp with me so I could have kept drier. 
um, yeah, fingers crossed, fingers well and truly, and toes well and truly crossed. But, um, yeah, nice to be out, nice to be able to unwind by the lake, and um, hopefully there'll be a few nocturnal tench. But um, as I say, this lake can be a little irritating when it comes to ill activity, so it can be a case of maybe switching baits over. But if the tench are around and they are on the feed, it's very very hard to beat a dendrobina. There's some good bloodworm beds on this particular lake, so a dendrobina really does, in a way, mimic a bloodworm in some ways. And it's hard for a tinker to resist. Anyway, I'm going to sit down, maybe boil myself up some water and have a cup of tea on the old jet boil, and take in the atmosphere. There's lots of wildlife about. Very, very, very peaceful, very serene and the solitude is most welcome. Lovely. Tell you what, guys. Tell you what, guys. That took a while. Been getting line bites after line bites. Water temperature felt a bit chilly. As is typical. Later on, it's got the warmer it's got. The lead feels like toast. So I had another recast. Managed to get on an area where I wasn't hitting before, which is quite a nice little gravel patch. Now, I did think to myself, you know, this time you've got it spot on. You're going to pick up a bite. Just sat there, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. If that isn't a way to get a bite, I don't know what is. Have a bite to eat, have a cup of tea, you'll get a run. Whew. Swing has slammed up. A little Akuma bait runner's gone into overdrive. I've got a lovely looking tinker in the net. Really good scrap. Tried to stick me under them. Marginal snag to my right. Lovely looking fish too. Lovely. Really, really happy. There we go guys, what a lovely looking tench, beautiful condition, absolutely cracking scram, tried to kite under my right hand margins, what a lovely looking fish. I was receiving a few line bites and knocks, and kept umming and ahhing, shy, recast, glad I decided to, really glad that I decided to, managed to hit a nice gravel patch, and I thought to myself, that's a bite surely, and sure enough, as I was making the tea, this cracker screamed off, beautiful condition. Pull myself back. There you go. What a lovely looking tinker. Really, really happy.
well, morning has broken and it is a dull, wet affair. <laughs> yeah, lots of liners in the night, lots of taps and raps, single bleeps, double bleeps, etc. I knew there was tension about, but didn't have that nice one until I'd recast and I felt I was a little bit off the money with where I was pay, play, placing the bait. That cast, as soon as I got it in position, I actually did feel a nice fud. There is a nice gravel patch, not a massive gravel patch, but there's a nice one just out in front of me, but it's only a small one, and it um, pays off at times to hit it, hit it if you can. As soon as, I, as soon as I recast and I felt that fud, I thought to myself, that's a bite. And sure enough, it... Um, probably no longer than about, I don't know, 10 minutes, if that, and it was away, and I had that nice tension. Yeah, I'm hoping for a couple more before I have to be off. It's nice dull conditions. Would be nice if it was a little bit warmer though, I've got to say. It's a very, very cold spring that we've had in, in the UK. But yeah, come what may, it's nice to have had one. Nice to have got out fishing, nice to have had a nice tench. I tell you what, what a beautiful setting, regardless of whatever the weather is. It's a really nice, nice, beautiful setting with a wonderful abundance of wildlife. Lovely, nice early morning tinker in the second one of the trip. Oh, there we go, beautiful looking tinker, lovely condition. Look at that for a paddleway, cracking, cracking scrap, although it did get a bit of a hood of weed over its head, which meant the fight was a little bit more subdued than the last one. But yeah, it's been a bit patchy. Still don't think conditions are ideal. I know it looks nice with the cloud and that, and I would normally say, yeah, it's nice conditions. But it's still very cool for this time of the year, in my opinion. And I do feel that this lake would be feeling better normally at this time of the year if it was a bit hotter and the weather was a bit more stable. But yeah, happy with this. Lovely teddy bear eye. Beautiful condition. Yes, very, very nice. Indeedy. Let it slip back. Happy days. Well, I'm all packed up and I was just having another nice bite on the dendrobinas. Um, but when you've got to go, you've got to go. I can't complain. I know it would be a case of picking up one tench and then maybe possibly two. But generally speaking, I do feel conditions wise could be a bit milder would help. And I do find at times a little bit of settled very humid conditions can help but given that we've had one of the frostiest Aprils on record and May's not looking that good at the moment um, yeah I can't complain too corking looking tench and uh, wonderful condition both of those but as I say I was having another bite in the swim when I kept looking at my watch and going you know I can give it another couple of minutes another couple of minutes and I thought to myself you know you better get going so um, yeah I think that combined with the fact there is a lot of natural food about at the moment there's a hell of a lot of bloodworm beds in this lake. There's a lot of tadpoles about as well which carp and tench absolutely love feasting on. Anyway, I best be heading off. It's still raining. Um, but um, yeah, quite. A, do think I'm going to come out again. So I always fancy get a little bit of bait going in, get the fish feeding, clearing up the weed a bit and pick up a quite a few more tench but would ideally as I say like the weather to settle down 
a bit more, be a bit more sticky conditions. You know what, it's unusual to come down to this particular water and not get absolutely hammered by mosquitoes. I only had one mozzie all night. That's unheard of, trust me. I normally, when I do a few hours into darkness in early morning, normally I come out looking like a pin cushion afterwards. Uh, there you go, it is what it is. Global warming and all the other things going on in, the, in this world which are caused by us, the human race. Not good for man or beast. Anyway, I will see you guys on another video. I hope you've enjoyed this one and I should expect it, my next video will be another tench fishing one. I absolutely adore them. They're such gorgeous looking creatures. Those beautiful red teddy bear eyes, those buttercup yellows, deep greens, limey light greens. Such a mixture and variation in build and stature. Anyway, I'm risking the wrath of being a waffler again crack on and I'm going to get home. I'll see you on another video. Take care guys. Goodbye.